Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and today another feature of iNav that you might have heard of but you never really tried because you were afraid of. Afraid of... Some say that we are afraid of the things that we don't know and this is the thing that you might not know. It's called Autotune. Autotune is, well, pretty much self-describing name because it's attempt to tune, correctly tune the PIFF proportional integral fit forward controller that's used on an aeroplanes, but only on the aeroplanes. Um, so far there were some attempts to make a working tuning procedure for multirotors. This no, so far nothing really was good. With aeroplanes it's simpler because aeroplanes have a really a shitload of built-in stability. You can do crazy stuff with the gains and this thing will still keep itself in the air. So it's, it's simpler, it's easier to write something that tries to auto-tune the aircraft. And to be honest, it really does a pretty, pretty good job because I'm using autotune more or less on every of my aeroplanes and every time I change something. And really after a tune it really flies great. I, It's my personal uh, preference to for example lower or rise uh, a gain slightly, but this is all. Okay, let's cut to the chase and this is a very short instruction how to use INAV autotune. One, it's safe. It's really, you will, it's safe to use as long as you know what you are doing. Step number one, go to configurator and assign the auto tune to one of the switches. Anyone will, really any switch will do, just as long as you are able of assigning this and enabling auto tune after you take off. Step two, go to a field an airfield or the place you fly your airplane and just take off. Climb to a safe altitude where you have a lot of space just to fly and enable the autotune mode and start flying around. In the beginning it might feel somehow strange, sluggish, it, it might be like, think, you might be thinking it's doing strange things, but it's only a temporary. Autotune takes a snapshot of what's happening, what's the input, what's the output and what's the error every five seconds and every five seconds it updates the gain. So it's tuning as you go. After five seconds, 10 seconds, 15, Probably after half a minute you will really notice that this thing is starting to fly well. Continue. Fly for a minute, two, maybe three. It does not really matter. When you are relative well, no, not relatively. When you are happy with the results and you really feel that aeroplane is not progressing anymore with the tune, disable autotune. This is very important. You cannot land with autotune because the shock during the landing might make the tune just go bad and make things worse. So before you land, disable the autotune. It will keep the last stable autotune value even if you disable. Land and now very important thing. Do not disarm. It just has to lie flat on the ground for just a second or a few more. Because now you have to save the gains that you were able to auto-tune with the auto-tune. How to do it? There are, let's say, three ways of solving that problem. Way number one is to use the stick command when you move the left stick to the lower left and the right stick to the lower right. It's in the screen, so you should know what I mean. Way number two is to still arm the aeroplane, connect to a configurator and hit save on the pit tab. It will just save everything to EEPROM, to the internal memory of, of, of a flight controller. Or step three is to use the OSD. If you have the OSD, you can just enter OSD by putting throttle to the middle, yaw to the left and the pitch to up. 
Yeah, I think this is this is the correct combination. And you can either see the tunes that Autotune came up with or just use Save and Tribute option under the main menu and you are done. Autotune is over. Then you might modify to this to suit your needs if you really want to, but in most of the cases the, the values that Autotune came up with are really fine to fly in an aeroplane. Last Last remark, remark, you should try the auto tune in the relatively calm day. Do not, rather, do not try to use it when there is really strong wind because it might uh, influence the results. And when you are tuning, try to keep the throttle on the level that you are usually usually doing during the during the flight usually around mid stick so it's just the most probable value of the throttle you really really will be using okay i think that's all for today another function of inaf you did not knew about i think it's covered and can easily go to a sub web page being reminded about Thumbs up if you liked it, please subscribe, go visit my Patreon page for some special content, early access and stuff like that. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping me to create those quite regular videos recently. I'm really impressed how, but I'm, how I'm progressing, so yeah, good for me. And, and what? Until the next one. Ciao!